Cleveland, it's a family-run business that has about 36 different flavors of gourmet pierogies. Um, we try to go to different farmers markets and use all natural ingredients in all of our pierogies that we make. I think what makes them so special is just how much effort we put into making them handmade because normally all pierogies are now made by a machine. You can't really get them handmade anymore. And we also, again, use all natural ingredients. We don't use like um, instant potatoes or anything like that. The traditional flavors would be our potato cheddar, sauerkraut, the cottage cheese pierogies, and the prune and apricot pierogies are more the traditional flavors. And then we have some really unique ones. We have a chicken paprikash one, which is very interesting. It has that Hungarian flair into it. And then we have a candy bar pierogi, which that one, it's like a chocolate lava cheesecake inside of a chocolate pierogi shell. So it's perfect for dessert. We have an apple pie one that's good with ice cream. Every month we have one flavor that rotates out. So for February, we'll have the cheesy lobster, and then the next month the cheesy lobster's gone, and we bring in our next flavor, which would be our Reuben pierogi. Really good ones is our Thanksgiving Day pierogi we have in November, which that is turkey stuffing, mashed potatoes, and corn, and then it comes with a cup of gravy and cranberry sauce. So the one that we're making today, it's our three cheese spinach and mushroom. So we saute the mushrooms down and cook spinach, and then it's made with mozzarella, provolone, and Parmesan cheese all mixed together. It's a lot of hard work. We do kind of more of an assembly line. So we'll have someone making all the filling types in the back, and they'll take the filling up front where someone's rolling out our dough and getting it nice and thin because we don't like thick dough for our pierogies. And then we have a group of people putting the scoops down of filling and folding it over and like crimping the pierogies and cutting them out. So when you walk into our Richfield location, you're gonna see a freezer full of all of our frozen pierogies. And with our frozen pierogies, you get six pierogies to a pack. And the best way to cook those is you first thaw them and then pan fry them with some olive oil or butter. If they are frozen when you go to cook it, that's okay, you just need to put your pan on a low heat and it takes about 15-20 minutes to cook or you can also steam them and it will take about five minutes to thaw them that way. And then we also have other things you can get while you get hot food. We have our cabbage rolls which is all beef with rice and it's wrapped in a cabbage leaf with tomato sauce and then we have chicken paprikash and spetzel and we also have halouski which is cabbage and noodles. And we do make bakery here. We have our klotchkes. We have a raspberry, an apricot, a cream cheese, and a walnut. And those are made here too, and all by hand, using the great grandma's recipe. And we make Hungarian rolls and, and poppy seed rolls too. I think the best thing is you can just put anything in them. Because most people think you can only put traditional flavors in it. I think we've accomplished a lot more by having 36 different flavors. <laughs>